Just bought a $19 Blue Fire remote start and alarm system for my scooter. Uh, I have a Tau Tau 50cc that I just purchased and I uh, wanted to try to keep it safe. I uh, was trying to find some uh, installation videos and uh, didn't really have that much luck. Uh, I did stumble across one that explained how to plug it in but it didn't say anything about the remote start so I was kind of confused on whether or not um, that way of installation uh, was going to work. Here's what I got in the package. So what I received in the package you see down there is the actual alarm speaker, uh, a bunch of different wiring, here's the central brain unit, some sticky uh, adhesives, uh, and then you have two remotes, one with a built-in key that has a blank so you can get that rekeyed to your scooter. And then I was kind of getting a little nervous because the paperwork really didn't explain much. Uh, it did tell you uh, what everything went to, but if you're not an electrician, and I'm not, that might scare you a little bit. Then you see this right here, and you're thinking, oh no, I'm going to have to wire every bit of this. Uh, that's not the case. Uh, it's actually a really easy install. So for me, uh, this is after I've already taken uh, the front piece off, front plastics off. You're going to have some screws alongside, go follow them all the way down and unscrew them on both sides. Uh, and then you're also, if you're using, if you're riding on a Tau Tau Thunder, you're going to have this on the outside piece. And once you take that off, you're going to have a couple screws back here that you're going to take off. And then that's on the front side of this, that screw that screw you're gonna take that off that thing's gonna fall don't let it fall too hard because it might try to pull this out um, then you're gonna look for this wire right here this little plug with this right here you're gonna take this end piece off let's stick in there right there I'll try to see if I can do this one-handed boom take that off then you're gonna take this guy Once you get this started, push all the way up until it clicks in. It's going to have, you got to do it where this tab there is. And then you have one more connection to connect along with a 9 volt backup battery if you choose. Next, you're going to grab this right here and you're going to connect it to this guy. right there push it in make sure you line it up with the tab and then that's ready to test to remote start you want to hit this lightning bolt twice if you start it with the remote that means that you cannot turn it off with your key so you have to use the remote to turn it back off again in order to turn this off you want to hit the unlock button once and that turns your scooter off. To arm your scooter, you're going to hit the lock button and it's going to be super loud. Be, just brace yourself. So now that is armed and uh, if you start messing with this, it, it's going to start beeping at you. After you uh, get all that plugged in, you're, you're going to want to start mounting this stuff on the inside right here. This is where I ended up mounting mine, not saying you have to do the same, but it's probably going to be about the same kind of room uh, that I have on my scooter. Uh, just try to make sure that whenever you put it in there that your wires have uh, free range so whenever you are turning your scooter, uh, it's not going to pull any kind of wires or tug on any kind of wires. After that, you want to go ahead and button everything back up and uh, do a final test after you get all your plastics back on.